Hey, good Wednesday morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Kind of a little shocker there in my headline, wasn't it? Keep the shorts handy, but also start to dig for the heavier coat because this time next week we'll be into a different weather pattern. Not to say that it'll last for a long time, but it looks like a three, four, five day, um, I'd call it a cold snap coming up for this time of the year, but let's get to it. Before that, we don't have a cold snap. Before that, we have gorgeous days. I'm going to say we have at least three gorgeous days. Today, Thursday, Friday. Thursday, the exception, northern lower Michigan and the UP could have some showers around, but southern lower stays great. Uh, Friday, great day. Saturday in southern lower, great, but that's when the cold front will come through and start to change our weather. Hey, let's say hi to some folks. Uh, before we get started here, good morning, William Garcia, and good morning, Sheila Blue Prince, and Steve Walker, Judy Lambert, good morning, and Robert Herkaway, thank you, good morning, Chad Grieve, I think that's how you'd say it, good morning to you, and Karen Greenfeld checking in from sunny Plymouth, Michigan, a lot of places, uh, sunshine today. All right, we're going to start off with the European model because it does well and it matches up with what our US model is saying also. So let's set her into motion and we're probably we're pretty much believing it out to 10 days because uh, all of the models that go out that far are saying a, a very similar situation. So here we are today you don't see any thing over Michigan. You don't see any green, any blue, any, that means no precipitation. And as I look out the window, we do have quite a bit of sunshine. Hey, good morning, Amy Colvin and Mignon Patton. Hopefully I got that right. Good morning, Gloria Wolfgang. Okay, so into Thursday. Now, like I said, there is a little disturbance with rain across the UP. Quite a bit of rain, you know, solid area of rain across the UP. And uh, far northern lower Petoskey, um, maybe definitely Mackinac City, maybe uh, Presque Isle, Rogers City, around in there uh, for Thursday during the day. That hangs in northern lower, but doesn't drift down to southern lower the way it looks right now. So now we're into Friday afternoon. Definitely a work skipper Friday. Definitely. Go for it. I will write you a note or I'll, I'll send an email to your boss. Uh, hey, Corey Shelton, Les, I'd love to say hi to your science students at Michigan Center. I love science, of course. Um, good morning, Hamburg and Russ uh, Robinson. Okay, so now we know that it's good through Friday, except for the UP, far northern lower, some showers. Now we're into Saturday, showery across the UP. And... Then we go into Saturday night, the cold front dropping southward across lower Michigan. That's the middle of Saturday night, Sunday morning. That's the first cold front. It will move out, and at this time of the year, colder air comes at us in waves. It doesn't all come down because still, remember, the Great Lakes hold a, a tremendous amount of energy and heat that keeps cold air back, so it usually takes two or three waves before the heart of the cold blob, the current cold blob, uh, comes down. And you'll see that here in just a moment. So we get into early next week, Monday, and we dry out a little bit. And then everything shows this circulating low-pressure center over the Great Lakes by Tuesday of next week. So that would be a rainmaker. And as it comes on by, that would tug down another surge another wave of the colder air. And, you know, I like to show you this one because when you see the blue lines, that means we're uh, uh, starting to get colder. And then as we get into early next week, we also, or I'm sorry, late next week, we continue with that north, northwesterly flow, and you'll see the temperatures go down. So there you get the, the gist of it, you know, that we got great weather into Friday, transition day, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, not too bad in places. Tuesday, we get wet, and then it's colder temperatures. Here are the highs, about 80 today and about 80 tomorrow, except for northern lower, and about 80 also 
uh, on Friday. This week went fast. It felt like there was a holiday day, and it shouldn't have. And then Saturday, Sunday starting to cool off, Monday, Tuesday. And by Tuesday, we're looking at highs in the 50s to about 60. And remember, we got a few days of even cooler temperatures after that. Um, here is the U.S. model showing about the same thing, that Thursday rain in the north, and then the cold front coming southward on Sunday. And then this is its rendition, its forecast of the storm system on Tuesday. And again, looks very similar. And then behind it, North northwesterly flow for several days coming in out of Canada, and I'll just leave you with low temperatures then. So in the next few days, gardeners, pick your tomatoes because uh, you'll start to get into the the frost and or freeze temperatures. I would say by the second half of next week, by Wednesday morning or Thursday, Friday morning. And at some point there, if that northwest flow uh, happens for a couple of days, at some point there's probably going to be hard in cold sections to save any more plants because you probably will get a 30 or 29 or 28 or something like that. Uh, so let them keep going here for the next couple of days, but keep picking. These are low temperatures. You know, this is Saturday morning ahead of the cold front. Saturday is going to feel like a summer morning. And then Sunday, the cold front is through. And then Monday and Tuesday with clouds and showers around, cooler but not too cold. And then as we get into late next week, that's when the colder air starts to come on in. And again, I anticipate this is about a three to five day uh cooler than normal, colder than normal snap, and then we'll probably uh, rebound after that. So it's a good forecast. Get some projects done through Saturday. You'll even have a couple of bonus days, so Sunday, Monday-ish in southern lower, and then the rain will settle in, and then we'll go to um, at least a three to five day change. We won't call it a, a major pattern shift. We'll just call it a cool out. How's that sound? Hey, thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update. If you can, anytime you're watching this, it really helps me if you just hit the share button. That's the best thing to do is hit the share button and uh, appreciate you guys all checking in. And let's take some questions here. Laura Perrin, is the haziness from the wildfires? Yes, it is. And that haziness is coming and going. It's, it's I'll be honest, it's really hard to forecast uh, more than just 12 hours out uh, when it'll be thick and affect our temperatures and it won't be when it won't be thick. But right now it doesn't look too crazy. And then of course, when the cold front comes through and the winds switch out of the north, it'll probably take that smoke out of the air, clean things out. Hey, you're welcome, William Milam. Uh, yes, someone's saying a perfect timing for a cold snap next week. There you have it. Thanks for joining me. This is the M Live Morning Weather Update. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourselves a great Wednesday.